Hey you guys, so I wasn't able to make Sunday's video because I was puking my head off and I don't feel like being on camera, so you will be observing my cat if she sits still. Anyways, I did want to cover this week's topic, which was pagans in the military and government and all that jazz, um, because for me, it, it's a little bit more personal. Um, so I have been married before and he was in in the Navy and then my current husband who was in the Marines really uh, who was in the Marines before I met him um, and then joined the army after we had our our child um, I got to meet quite a few people who were pagan or were of the similar Sorry, I'm trying to entertain you guys by following the cat. Um, uh, but anyways, I'll just focus on here. Um, so I got to meet a lot of uh, pagans while, um, while we were down at Fort Hood at the Navy base, or not Navy base, uh, Army base with my current husband. And I was, I was honestly surprised because I thought my my stereotype of those in the military were quite a lot of them would be uh christian which of course they are uh, there's quite a bit of christians in the military but a lot of them were a lot more liberal thinking than i guess you would expect especially in texas <laughs> um i met, met a few buddhists um and uh quite a few atheists but um, they're actually, especially down there, because the base is, like, I think the biggest in the continental U.S. and possibly the biggest in the, in our, in our military base, um, bases. So there's a lot of people down there. Um, but they actually have pagan groups down there. It's not something that they hide. Um, and though Texas is pretty conservative generally speaking. Fort Hood is fairly close to Austin and because everybody's coming from such different areas um, they were you know um, they came with different types of backgrounds so it was a lot more open-minded than I expected. Um, I actually got to meet a little bit more uh, because there's such a large Hispanic population down there, more people who were practicing, um, like, what are they, like, Santeria, stuff, stuff like that, which, uh, I don't know if that necessarily falls under paganism, but I'm gonna just do that, <laughs> because a lot of people I've seen on YouTube tend to be a part of the pagan community that follow those type of paths, um, uh, I know that the symbols that are put on gravestones, like Thor's hammer, the pentagram, those have been, um, I think some of them were just r relatively recently okayed to be put on, uh, veterans or, and, and active duty, uh, um, monuments to the, to the dead, um, which for a long time uh, because a lot of the rules of the military are Christian based, like, it, it, you gotta look them up. It, a lot of the rules that don't necessarily pertain to, like, military safety or whatnot, like, like, adultery is an actual, um, and obviously I'm not for that, but it happens a lot in the military, but that is, it, that stems from, like, the Bible and, and Christian beliefs and whatnot, um, and rules like that. So pagan stuff like this, um, I'm happy that I get to see so many, <laughs> I get to see so many people be able to be free about their, their beliefs. Um, and there could be a lot more, like, you don't generally see, like, a chaplain who is pagan. Uh, I don't think you'll ever find one like that. Um, 
but there are chaplains that are, are really open-minded because a lot of times they have to be. If they're not, then they probably don't stick around that base very long. Um, um, and then, generally speaking, with the government, again, a lot of the government stuff is is Christian-based because a lot of the laws, like, way, 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 way back in the day were made by Christians and a lot of them followed, like, the commandments and... Or, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and we're still fighting the the super conservatives who are just like paganism is heathens <laughs> which everybody knows that who has an open mind knows that that's totally not the case um so i think overall it's we are a lot better than say we were like 20 years ago but we still have a long way to go to um but yeah those are just my opinions and i thought i'd share it I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.